Hello everyone, um, Carly Hamilton here. I'm going to um, be preparing all these nappies here for my newborn that's due in a few weeks. So I'm just going to um, be stuffing these liners inside them and going through my uh, process a little bit to let you know what I've been, what I'm doing. Um, but basically I've just gotten these off the line. I did a pre-wash and soak soaked the liners and did a pre-wash of them um, because they need um, a couple of washes before they reach their full like peak absorbency um, so that's all done now hopefully they are absorbent enough <laughs> for when the baby comes I'm not actually planning on doing um, using the cloth diapers right away um, I am going to be using disposables just because of the ease of use of being a first time mom and I'll have a million other things to worry about um, let alone washing all these diapers and everything but I'm hoping to get into using these as soon as possible um, so I'm going to set them up especially for um, having a newborn uh, I've got lots of different types there so I've got lots of different types of soakers as well um, and I'm pretty sure I know which nappy like which soaker belongs to which nappy it probably doesn't matter too much um but i'll keep them together because some have you know little um the little snaps and stuff that you can snap them into the nappies and stuff so that's what i'm going to do to start off with is just match up the soakers with the nappies okay so that did take uh, hardly any time at all look might look like a big huge mess to you but basically all I've done is sorted them into piles of um, like the same brand nappies and then I've either just stuck on top or next to them all the soakers um, for that brand so that was so super easy and super quick um, now is the, the difficult part I guess um, but because I'm setting it up for the first time now it's going to take the longest um, and I'm doing them all at once so it's going to take the longest um, I'm not planning on doing all of them washing them all at once um, I plan on doing washing like maybe every second day or so so there'll be less to do at a time and this is something I plan on doing um, in front of the TV so it'll be fairly painless hopefully but what I I'm going to do to each nappy um, which is going to take a bit of time and won't be needed to be repeated hopefully um, as I do it each time but I'm going to be setting them all I've got all they're all all in ones um, like I mean one size fits fits most that's what I meant so they've all got these little risers here and I'm going to be setting them all to the smallest setting um, in preparation for my newborn um, so they're all on the smallest setting and then I'm also going to be um, stuffing all these um, ones on the inside or however they're done. So I'm going to be stuffing them all and then um, then they should be nice and prepared and ready to go for my little one um, when I'm ready to use cloth enough me's on him. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to um, get comfortable and show you some of the ways that these... Um, like liners or soakers or whatever you want to call them work um, this one here is just um, a cheap brand that I bought off eBay um, so I'm pretty sure that the these guys are just like microfiber the absorbency might not be great um, but I won't know until my newborn is here to test it out um, and if need be, I will we'll buy some bamboo soakers for these guys. So I'm um, expecting these guys to be the most fiddly, um, just because they are the cheapest as well. But that guy's pretty much in there. And then he's all done. Just trying to do this quickly for the camera. Then I've got um, this giant soaker pad here. This is my hippopotamus. If you can hear that noise behind me, that's my cat helping. This one's got like a little pocket there. So I'm just going to stuff this one in here. I 
as I said, I think this will be maybe the most annoying thing. But doing it in front of the TV, usually we watch a bit of TV in the evenings. Hopefully it won't be too painful. And then just um, putting them up to the, the smallest size here. In preparation for the newborn. So there we go. That one still seems pretty damn huge so this one might have to wait until he's a bit older. Let's put some of these snaps together. So that's, I mean it's not too bad actually. Just a bit wider across there which might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. So that was my hippopotamus. Um, I do have a Grovia one um, and this one is a snappy in thing so I got two pads for this guy um, and because he's a newborn I'm guessing that I might not need to have two soakers in um, at the start so not sure maybe that way maybe the other way or maybe that one I think this one. Oh, and it goes that way there we go so I'll put this one aside for when he um, I'm assuming has a bigger bladder and will probably need something bigger but it's all trial and error at the start, unfortunately, a bit. So this one needs to go up to the smaller risers. Just pop these in. Um, I think just thinking about doing up these top ones I want to have easy access to um, putting on the nappy um, especially if I've got like a squirming or screaming child or something so um, in hindsight maybe it'd be better to store them without them done up so I can just like pop them open quickly and stick stick him in there so I'm unsure again I guess I'll be just try trialing out to see what what um works best so that one's a bit bit it's smaller not as this one seems to go up a bit higher but again it's got a, like a, a border broader base there which might be a good thing you can definitely feel the um the difference in like see the difference in the quality of the legs and stuff like that as well um the elastic in the legs so that's um the grovia then i've got this guy here, he's a ones and twos. Um, so let's. This guy, it's pretty easy. This one, he just goes on top, so just goes in like that, and that's it. Um, because it's a newborn setting, I can like fold this over a bit too, and then I've already got that that rise done on this one, and this one's a Velcro one. If I'm not leaving them done up then that's that and you can see this guy's a bit smaller so this is probably one of the ones I'm going to use first actually these ones already have like a soaker pad sewn in um, so it's already pretty thick so I'm not sure maybe I won't even need a soaker pad in them um, as I'm starting out so there we go there's that one Another type I've got is these poppins here. These ones um, are color coordinated, and that's the way. <laughs> and these ones you just um, slip in and like that as well. They do come with two, um, so I'm probably not going to use that one. Just use this one to start off with, and then they just um, pop in. So should be like a little one of these guys 
No. That way. So these ones shouldn't move as easily as perhaps some of the other ones that don't have these extra little bits. Um, I think that one, aha, uh -huh, they've got little bits there. So that one's for your booster, for your extra one. I'm not sure if that's still on camera. So there we go, so tuck them under. So I guess the fiddly part of that is having to pop, pop them in. But I do like that these ones have the double leg gusset and also the gusset in the liner. So I'm pretty impressed with these ones. So this one needs the rise to go up. And you can see they've got four settings. So there's that one there. And I've got the laundry tabs on that going, but there you go. Pair it to my China Cheapy. So again, maybe not as high, but more of a wider base. Um, so that's the pop-ins. And then the last type that I have are the um, Bum Genius. So the Bum Genius is another one that you've got to stuff on the inside. Um, the Bum Genius also come with two. It's like a little one. And one that you can fold down to the various sizes. It's got like a little snap, snap in it. Um, and it's a long one. Um, I'm guessing that maybe I'll use the long one and just snap it down to the small size. Extra padding there. And then I'm just going to stuff him in. Whoop, knocking things. I have fairly small hands and I find this fairly easy to do um, because he's a boy I might put the extra padding at the front but yeah if you've got bigger hands this might be even a huger pain in the ass for you guys uh, I'm not sure which is more of a pain having to stuff him in make sure they're flat or like the pop-ins where you have to find little snaps to pop them in or, or what but only time will tell what annoys me so that's that there that one's already been put up to the correct rise and then that's that's it there and that's the comparison okay so these are the um, the brands that I have um, uh, that you've seen me do so this is the the China cheapies the bum genius the hippopotamus the ones and twos um, the, the groove layer one and the uh, closed pop in so they're the different um, types that I've got uh, my plan is to just um, use them and see which ones that I like and then probably um, beef up my stash a bit more with more of the um, the ones that I find the easiest or the best to use or that suit my baby the best. Um, these guys are cheap ones that I got off eBay and I'm just really used, uh, planning to use them to sort of bulk up my stash a bit especially while we're at home and it doesn't matter so much if they leak or you know I have quick easy access to be changing nappies more often if that's the case with them. I have read reviews that they're awesome and they're just as good as the rest and reviews that these ones don't really last very well. Um, so it's just um, a matter of seeing because um, you know there's always good and bad reviews with like the more expensive brands as well. Um, so yeah just to recap setting up for um, my newborn I just um, did a wash. I soaked all these guys overnight in buckets of water. Then I did a couple of washes with them all, including the shells, in my washing machine. Hung them out to dry. Um, and now I just have stuffed um, 
stuff the liners, soakers, whatever you want to call them, into them um, and done up the risers so that they're on their smallest setting and they're ready to go. I think I'm going to undo this one here so that they're ready to go. I can just pull them down and put the baby in the nappy and go um, and make it as easy as possible. Uh, my plan is to um, do this kind of horrendous job while watching the TV at night time um, and hopefully that won't be too painful especially since I won't be doing you know this giant mess piles all at once um, it will be a lesser amount to do at, at a time um, so um, it shouldn't be too painful I don't think um, there are different options for um, nappies that make it easier where you don't have to stuff but I liked the idea of stuffing um, just because I could choose my own absorbency. I do have um, also uh, these guys here. Um, these are by the clothes poppins and they're calling them I think they're nighttime booster. Yeah that's what it says. Um, but basically it's just a bamboo trifold and I got a couple of these um, to bulk up nappies like I can use them in any nappy um, even though they're designed for the clothes pop-ins ones. I like that these guys have like little when you fold them over they've got the gussets as well to the side there and they're just like um, they're a bamboo um, liner to add extra absorbency um, and hopefully these will be really good uh, for night time. Uh, and I am thinking about getting some, these ones were fairly expensive, I was thinking about getting some cheaper bamboo folds, um, probably you know ones without the gusset so they won't be as nice as this, but getting some cheaper ones to um, maybe you know insert inside my, my cheap, cheaper ones or if I need even more absorbency in these other ones. So yes, I think that's all that I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Let me know in the comments if you've got any tips for cloth diapering newborns. Um, I'd love to know all about your experiences, what your favourite brands are, things like that. Um, or alternatively just um, ask me any questions um, at all and I will endeavour to answer them for you or test them out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!